and we're having our meeting with Jeanette Berling and a Magnet Media group. Jeanette, uh, so you've had so many different roles over the years, like from packaging agent to executive producer, from working for the studios to your own company, <laughs> and now being able to be your own boss. Yeah. So it's like, how do you think that it's evolved the industry for the last five years? Because it's a constant evolution. Well. I mean, I, in the 25 years that I am now in the industry and I started working for the network stations and studios in Europe, um, I saw it evolve from being a very local kind of industry, so every country was doing their own product, to becoming really an industry where the worlds emerge. Everything is mushed together into this one big pond of things. And some of it is good and some of it is not so good. So yes, I've produced for network stations, I've done feature films with the studios, I've sold, I was a sales agent, I've run uh, film investment funds for banks and now I have raised my own film investment fund so I became a financier, an executive producer. Knowing the world of production helps because I can be cost efficient and feasible and I only say this because in the last five years especially, production budgets have decreased substantially. So it is important to know how to save money and still deliver quality on screen. We had to emerge, um, and I had to reinvent myself a lot of times because the necessity of the marketplace had me do that. I, I wouldn't be able to do the work I do unless I emerge and do all the other roles. And it made my my day all of a sudden become a 48 hour day instead of a 24 hour day because there's only so much you can do. So what I do now is I focus on certain projects because I can't do as many anymore. I focus on certain projects with a certain level of storytelling, a certain level of packaging and a very feasible budget and see those through in all the areas, meaning production, financing, packaging, international sales and US distribution. It's like, what is it that's exactly attracting you to that project to say, okay, I want to work with this person, mm -hmm. with this cast, with this story, versus somebody who comes with a probably a more experienced package or even a lesser experienced mm -hmm. package. But the project. I mean, at this at this stage of my life, um, having done this for 25 years, I'd actually like to work with people I like, believe it or not. So the first interesting thing that happens is I sit in front of someone I enjoy having a nice conversation with. Um, obviously, that conversation includes things like they know what they're doing. Yes. And ideally, they're not bullshit artists, I'm sorry to say, because a lot of the people we see in this industry um, don't really have what they say they have. And that becomes a bit of an issue. By now, of course, I know how to drill down into the facts. Ideally, uh, a producer comes to me having done their homework, having developed a script that's commercial, having packaged it with a certain level of actors that is supportive of the budget range that he's aiming for when it comes to production and when it comes to wanting me to finance the project. So they need to have done their homework in putting together a healthy budget, putting together a nice cast, and ideally having done a beautiful story. So, and, and of course, if they have a director, that's, that will be good too. Um, in most cases, that is not what they have. In most cases, they come to me with certain elements. Sometimes it's just a script. Sometimes it's a script with a cast element. Sometimes it's a script with some money, but no cast and no directors. So pictures or projects come to me in various stages, and depending on what these stages are, I mm -hmm. provide the advice or the help and support that is needed. Commercial, in terms of, uh, of that, it's like that's such a broad term. Is yeah. it, are we able to like narrow it down into our field? I can narrow it down to exactly what it is that I need. Commercial in my world is a drama, a comedy, or even a family film with an A-level actor. That genre without an A-level actor is unsellable in my world. I don't do horror, so I would not be able to tell you anything about horror because that's not a genre we finance or do, simply because I don't know how to value a horror script. When I read them, they don't mean anything to me. It's a personal preference, so I wouldn't know how to value that script. Therefore, I stay away from horror. Easier to sell is anything that relates to action, thriller, 
action thrillers that have visual effects attached to them or any movie that has a visual effect component um, is of interest because they are the cast it should be strong but it's not the only driving force because the concept of the film being a visual effect driven action um, visually enticing project is what is the selling aspect here.